Yeah, you, you can't argue that Mr. Krabs is fan frickin' tastic for defense, man. Look at him just wrecking. Welcome back, everybody, to O Cyber Snoo Dawn and the Discovery Update. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are gonna do some discovery. I've been looking forward to this episode. I just wanted to get the base building done and get up into space at least once to get some zirconium and all that, and we've got that done. And I'm feeling like we're in a good place. And so, yeah, um, we're going to the, the main goal of this episode is to start discovering things and it should be a lot of fun. So uh, keep in mind too, everybody, I'm recording this episode um, before I've seen comments from the last episode. So just kind of keep that in mind um, as we go along here. OK, uh, so let's do settings, get rid of our our bloom issue. Uh, at some point, I need to go back to the. Uh, the salvage site and salvage one more piece of thing. I stopped to get rid of that, but whatever. <laughs> I'm not really too worried about it. Okay, so before we get started directly with discovering things, um, I want to I want to do a couple things with zirconium because that's uh, that's important. So let's get that done first. I'm gonna just offload a few things in here. Uh, oh, and we're gonna make the crab mech too. So yeah, we're gonna make the crab mech too. Uh, get rid of that. Okay. So let's just stick these ores in here for now, except for the, we'll keep a stack of zirconium with us. Uh, I'm not worried about keeping things organized right now. I just want to get going. We'll put the azurnium and the diamond. Oh man, I am like so out of space. We need to make some more, uh, we need to make some more depositories is what we need to do. So just throw that in there. And okay, good enough. All right, so what we need to do first is we need to upgrade our fabricator to an advanced fabricator. So let's look at that. And to do that, we're going to need zirconium plate, zirconium circuit board, a charge cell, and cubic zirconia. So I think if we go here, this is where we make cubic zirconia. So uh, how much of that did it say we needed? I think it's just one piece, right? Yeah. Okay, so. Let's make one piece of cubic zirconia. Okay, that's done. And then uh, to make zirconium plate, uh, what, do, what do we need for this too? Okay, we're gonna need a battery zirc alloy and zirconium plate for the circuit board. Let's make another cubic zirconia. All right, and then let's go out here. And I think if we look in here, we should be able to make, oh my goodness. Yeah, that requires more than just zirconium. Okay, so we're gonna need iron, chromium, tin, magnolium, cast iron, steel. All right, let me just grab everything as usual. Okay, so we can make a zirc alloy, so let's do that. And then zirconium plate requires a cast iron, so we'll make a cast iron first. And then we can make the zirconium plate. Now we're going to need a couple of power cells for a battery, so let's get those done too whilst we're here. All right, now we can make the battery. And now we can make the zirconium circuit board. Sucker's expensive, isn't it? And let's see, we still need... Oh. We need another zirconium plate. I must have used it up probably for the circuit board. And then we need a charge cell too. So that require. Oh, okay. So there's another thing that needs azurium, and we need another battery. All right. Let's take this and this. Um, and now, we, oh yeah, we need the charge cell, so let's make that. Oh, I forgot to add, grab the azurium. Okay, let's make the charge cell. And now we can make the high-tech upgrade, let's do it. Okay. 
Now that opens up some pretty cool stuff down here. So now we have the Cobalt Assault Rifle, the Cobalt Bolt Rifle, the Heavy Assault, the C-19 Heavy Assault Rifle, the Azure. Oh, okay, so more stuff for a journey. Very interesting. A, a powerful triple burst rifle requires ammo. Powerful automatic rifle with the Cobalt Reinforcement. So this is automatic. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, we're going to have to... We're going to have to try those out. So, yeah, Azurnium is uh, definitely a thing. So, so this will do 60 damage plus uh, plus or minus 5 and 20% critical hit. That's pretty pretty deadly. Uh, this is going to probably do the heavy assault rifle uh, ammo damage, which we make out here. So that does 58, give or take four, and 10% critical hit. Ooh, look at that. Holy crap, man. 120 damage, plus or minus three. That's some serious damage right there. That's pretty good, too. Okay, well, anyway, we'll we'll have to have a, a gun or, or a weapons day episode where we kind of test all that stuff out. Uh, but we're not doing that today, of course. Okay, so what this essentially does then is it opens up... Um, better weapons for us, a hydrogen canister, and a torch, a cryo rifle, which is like cold gun, that sort of thing. So I I thought this was going to also open up the the uh, electro dump for us, but is that something... Let's see here. Utilities. Okay, where do we get to the electro dome now? Oh, under defenses. There we go. Okay. So we're not even going to bother with the electric dome. We're going to just go straight to the Z shield. And I should be able to make all of that stuff. I'm not going to do that in this episode because that's not what we're about. But we will make that. We might mess around, you know, with some some turrets at some point too. Um, you can make the electric fences too. The, I, I prefer to use the dome just because it's, it's just easier. The, but the downside to the dome is it only covers a certain area. And you can't combine two domes together. Um, so if you had a large area that required, say, two domes, you would have two separate distinct domes. They wouldn't, like, combine. Um, and it doesn't look good. So so you want to use these for larger bases. But if your dome can, you know, can encompass your entire base, if you have a smaller base like we do, um, this is much preferred, at least for me anyways. It's a matter of preference, too. I'm not saying this is better than this or this is better than this. Uh, but the the point there is these are for large bases these are for smaller bases so if you can get the whole entire of your uh, entirety of your base at least the the work area that you're going to be in and so on and so forth uh, under the dome then this is much much easier than setting up the fences okay anyway very cool uh so we'll uh we'll work on that stuff later uh there is one other thing i want to do before we get started directly with uh, exploration or discovery, and that is I want to make the crap mech. So let's go take a look and see what we need for that. I'm probably going to have to walk around a little bit and gather some crab parts that I don't currently have. So we're going to need two crab antennas, three crab shells, we got the meat, and we're going to have to figure out how to get the crab leg meat, what tool uh, we have to use for that. So that's going to be the very first thing we're going to try and discover. And we do have a Mr. Krabs out here. So let's take him out. Um, actually, here, I don't want to kill him quite yet because he won't last really long. Um, let's make a couple of different tools first. So we need to make the shears and the botany kit. The botany kit's going to need a nickel chromium. So let's uh, make one of those. One of you guys were telling me in the comments that this 6AL4V is actually a titanium alloy, which makes sense because it does have titanium. Um, and I think you said it's sometimes it's abbreviated as 6-4 or something like that. I don't know. I don't, I don't have the my, my comments up at the moment. So anyways, as always, appreciate your guys' comments. Okay, let's make a botany kit. Now... Um, I don't know if 
I don't know if the... Where is it at? I think we have to look in here. The knife. No, not in here. So I don't know if this tactical knife uh, and or the machete would get us different materials than just the the cheap blade. So we're we're gonna make we're gonna make those, and this requires a ferrochrome and a cast iron because we can afford to. I mean, we got the materials for it. So uh, let's make a cast iron there and a ferrochrome in here, and we'll just kind of you know we'll test those out and see if they get different things. If they don't, then we'll, we can assume that the that the tac that the tactical well actually we can test all three because we you know we'll have this knife we know that this knife gets leather so I'm assuming at this point that these guys do too um, I suppose it's possible too that the conduit bender might get something different um so it looks like that still has the same specs so we're gonna need a zircaloy a talonite uh, we have the talonite and the rubber so we're gonna need a pipe and a zircaloy Okay, so let's make a pipe and a zircaloy. And we'll make the conduit bender. This this used to be the weapon of choice and the mining weapon, of, uh, the mining tool of choice in the previous stable release. Um, until, you know, they, they made the actual pickaxe work correctly and came up with the diamond chisel. All right, so I think we have all of the tools that we're going to need for discovering things. Let's do a little bit of a repair here whilst we're at it. So we already know that the that the crab scythe gives us meat, uh, just alien tissue. Um, so we know that already, so we don't need to test that. Um, so let's go ahead and make some changes here. We're going to put this here. Um, I'm assuming the botany kit doesn't do anything on animals, but we'll confirm that. Probably the shears doesn't either, but again, we'll confirm that. And let's put... Uh, uh, where did it go? Oh, here it goes. Yeah, let's put this down here. All right. Let's take out Mr. Krabs here and see. Okay, we got a couple of, of animals incoming, which is good. Uh, so we'll kill that Elida. We got an arachnid coming in. See, I don't know if different animals give different parts or if they all give the same part. It's all just based upon the tool. I'm not really sure about that. So let's uh, machete this guy. I'm really slow. Come here. I got all that stuff in my inventory, so I'm super slow right now. Okay. Did we kill all the enemies? All right. Let's start with Mr. Krabs. So if we use the machete on Mr. Krabs, what do we get? Alien hide. That's what I expected. Now, if we use the knife on Mr. Krabs, what do we get? Alien hide. Okay. So it appears that all bladed weapons, knife-based weapons, get leather. So we've confirmed that. Here, let's um let's try that on a different critter just to make sure, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna get the same thing. Oh no. Okay, so the knife gets us alien tissue on the Elida. Interesting. What about the what about the machete? So the machete gets us alien hide. Was I mistaken about the knife on the crab? Maybe I, I was. Let's try it again. Whoops. Okay, so we have the knife. Okay, so the knife gets hide on the crab, but it gets... Oh, we got hide that time. Is it a... A random thing? We got hide that time. I could have sworn... We got tissue with the knife. Let's try the machete again. Hmm. I'm going to have to go back and look in the video, but I could have sworn the first time we hit this, it gave us tissue with the knife. But it seems to be hide. Let's switch back to the knife again. Yeah, that's hide. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess we can still assume 
that the, in general, at least in general, the bladed weapons get hide. Let's try that on this Elida. Yeah, that's hide. That's hide. And we'll go back to the machete one more time. Hide. Okay. Yeah, so I think it's safe to assume that the bladed weapons get us hide. And by the way, we don't we don't need this now. We just toss it because we have the knife and the machete. And the knife uh, is 2 to 18. The machete is 12 to 28. So we don't even need this. I'm not going to throw it away, but we probably won't ever use it again uh, because we have the machete. All right. Now, let's switch to the botany kit and the pliers. And what we need off Mr. Krabs is crab legs. But, again, I'm not expecting the botany kit to get us something off of an animal, but we won't know until we try it. So... Uh, wait a second. We might need to kill another Mr. Krabs. Okay, here we go. Crab leg. Botany kit. No container found for liquid alien blood. Okay, so that seems to indicate that we can't use the botany kit on an animal, which is what I expected. Let's confirm that one last time. No container found for liquid alien blood. Wait a minute. Oh, 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 you have to have a container. Ah, okay. All right, you know what? Let me let me offload some of this ore. I'm like super heavy here. Okay, I put a couple of containers. Uh, so now let's get the botany kit again. And find something on this guy to harvest. That's how you get alien blood. Okay, so it's not just a botany kit. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not just a botany kit. And it's is it it's filling Oh wow, you gotta hit that a lot. Okay. It just gives five units of alien blood. Okay, does it work on different types of aliens? Yep, okay. So the gnats also give alien blood. Interesting. Okay. Uh what about the pliers? We still have Mr. Krabs here. Oh, good. That gives crab shell. Oh, actually, these aren't pliers. I think these are shears. Okay, so we need crab shell, which is good. And, oh, and there's the antennas. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Because it's like we're we're nipping off the antennas from his head. Oh, I love that. So I'm, I'm guessing if we use these on his leg, we get crab leg meat. <laughs> Isn't that cool how that works? All right. Nice. Very nice. I'm liking this, you guys. This is really cool. It just adds so much more immersion to the game. It makes it more realistic and stuff. Uh, we need to find another Mr. Krabs. That's what we need to do now. So, let's see. Um, let me take a look, too, and see what else we need to make this. Again, uh, in terms of non-bio components. So, we're going to need a fuel cell, which we have. We're going to need a normal circuit board. And and uh, and some wire. Okay. And I think I have some crab talons. Can we use this? No, that's just a gather item, not a harvest item. Okay. So let's make a... Uh, oh, actually, I think we we can make a, a scrap circuit board in here. Yeah, we can. Okay, good. Yeah, you don't get a lot of alien blood, so... It's going to take a while to harvest all that, but very neat. I like the idea of the shears getting the antennas and, you know, the, the carapace off the, or the shell off the back of the, the critters, because it makes sense. That's what you would use in real life, uh, you know, that kind of a tool. Very neat. All right, so I guess we need to find another Mr. Krabs. Those guys are bugging us every time we turn around, and now that we need one, he's not here. But go figure, right? Go figure. Okay, so we've got all the tech components. Um, I, I was going to check and see if I have four crab talons. I'm pretty sure that I do. And then we just need three more legs and one more shell. Okay, I have a feeling like we're going to need more containers. So we're going to grab a few of these. Six, seven. Let's grab eight. Hopefully that'll be enough. All right, come on, Mr. Krabs. Where the hell did you go? 
I guess let's uh kind of low on fuel on this guy, aren't we? Let's put a little fuel in here, and we're, we'll just drive this guy around and look for another Mr. Krabs really quick. Or I suppose we could take the spaceship, but we need to fuel this anyway. Oh, there's a Mr. Krabs right there. Right on time. Right on time and farming like a pro. Um, here, let's try out the conduit bender. This is still probably a really good weapon. Uh, speaking of which, well, here, let's get the stuff we need first before we experiment on anything else. Okay, so we should get legs, or leg meat more precisely. Okay. Locate food supply soon. And that should give us all of our leg meat. Uh, we already have the talons, but if we use this on the talons, is that what we get? Yes. Okay. Makes sense. Good deal. Uh, the botany kit's just going to give us more um, blood, right? Okay. Yep. That gives us blood. And uh, does the chisel do anything? Chisel just gives us tissue. Okay. What about the conduit bender? Same thing. Okay. So it seems to me like... Mining tools give tissue. Bladed tools give leather. The botany tool gives fluids like blood, alien blood. And the shears give parts like antennas and crab shells. Very, very cool. Okay, so I think, did we harvest all the legs? I think we, no, we have one more leg. I think we have enough, but let's just grab an extra one just in case I screwed something up here. Okay. Very good. I think we have everything we need, guys, to make the crap, uh, the mech. So let's just get some more blood uh, from the rest of Mr. Krabs here. We thank you, Mr. Krabs, for your donation. Uh, we can't get to the head now because we harvested the body first. Yeah, they need to fix that. They need to fix that. I should probably maybe report that I don't uh, I don't usually report stuff myself um, because I you know I'm already helping out the devs uh, tremendously by doing YouTube videos on their game uh, but if you guys you know see a bug in one of my videos and you wouldn't mind reporting it that would be fantastic and sometimes I do report. I'm not saying I, I, I'm, I refuse to do it. That's not it. It's really just kind of a matter of, you know, time. Because I'm a busy dude and, you know, I'm already doing my part to help promote the game as it is. Sort of thing. So, okay. Uh, we didn't check. Okay, we got a Minotaur and a Skeleopod. We haven't done anything with them. Oh, and we also got a, a Snubs too. So let's check these guys and just make sure they don't give anything different. We want the Minotaur. Yeah. Oh, and a Parasite. Okay. So, if we use the shears on a Parasite, we get... Oh, we get Hide. Interesting. Okay. What if we use the shears on a Minotaur's head? Alien Organ. Interesting. Okay, so if we use this, we'll probably just get blood, right? Yeah, okay. Alien organ. That's new. Yeah, what about the leg? Alien tissue. Uh, alien tissue. Okay, so to get... It appears to get the... Um, the alien organ, you have to hit the minotaur's head. All right, what does the Skeleopod give us? Skeleopod shell, okay. And then I'm assuming that we get the tail from the Skeleopod tail. What about the Minotaur leg? Okay, that's just tissue. I can't quite hit the, the tail here. Yeah, Skeleopod tail. That's what I would have expected on that. Okay. And then I'm assuming the pickaxe is just going to give us tissue. Yeah, okay. And this guy should give us more blood. Food 
supply soon. Okay, so it appears that you can get unique parts from crabs, slow so crab legs, crab talons, that sort of thing. Unique parts from scaliopods. The minotaur, if you hit it in the head with the shears, you get an organ. And I think maybe... Did that happen when we hit it in the body too? Let's try it again. No, we just get tissue when we hit it in the body. Okay. And then if we switch to a bladed weapon, I'm, a, I'm expecting to get uh, leather. Where did that go? Minotaur arm. Oh, uh, I wonder if that gives something specific. Let's let's get the these back on. Nope, just alien tissue. Okay. All right. Well, I think what we'll do is the only thing we didn't test, I think, in terms of the critters was the arachnid. Um, but let's get blood. Oh, I guess we're finished with this guy because we hit his body before his head. So, yeah, if you guys didn't see that episode where I demonstrated that, whenever you harvest a crab, you want to harvest his head before you harvest his body. Uh, because if you harvest the body first, you won't be able to get to the head. It's it's a bug on the bug, <laughs> um, and hopefully something they'll fix later. Oh, we didn't test we didn't test the snubs. Okay, so for the snubs, do we get anything specific? Oh, that just that gives us hide. Huh. Okay. So that gives us alien blood. All right, Mr. Krabs. I think we got everything we need from it. Well, let's confirm before he disappears. Okay. So I think we're, um... Oh, we need one more crab shell. Okay. Alright, so we need to use the... the shears on this guy. Let's get to his head first. Oh, that gives us the antenna. There's the shell. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad I checked. Uh, we need to eat. Let's, uh... Yeah, 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 I'm working on it. We got tons of crab stew. Best food in the game. Uh, I think. Okay, so now we should be able to create Mr. Krabs. There we go. We have our own, very own Mr. Krabs. Hey, buddy. <laughs> okay, I'm looking forward to taking him out. All right, now let's uh, let's get the rest of the blood off this guy because we don't need any more meat or leather at, at present. Uh, but if we can get the rest of the blood off of them, then we can use that for stuff. Is that everything? Yep. All right, before we take off in Mr. Krabs, uh, one of the things I want to test with Mr. Krabs is I want to test and see if he's still really good at mining for us. Because I, I, he was my favorite, or it or rather was my favorite uh, vehicle to use in the previous stable release for mining. Now... For alien blood, there was a couple things. Okay, that's organic sludge. That's tree sap, which I'm we're probably gonna get with the botany kit. Whoa, what the hell is that? Do we just have a meteorite land? Yeah, that all wants tree sap and stuff. Okay, so wasn't there like some food? That's berry juice. Oh yeah, blood sausage. Okay. So that requires the organs and the blood and some blue palms. This is 50 health, 50 quench. 50 nutrition. Not as good as crab stew, but not bad food, though. Not bad food. So, yeah. Looks like... Oh, okay. Spicy sausage gumbo. See, the thing is, though, is I've never found an orsag egg. I don't even know what, a, what an orsac is. So, the, unless they there are orsacs somewhere, we can find their eggs, which I kind of think they're not implemented right now. Uh, we can't do this anyways. Um, and, you know, there's not much point in making this when we have tons and tons and tons of this, which is even better. 5200, 125 versus 50, 50, 50. So, all right, very cool. 
Um, all right, guys. So I think what we're going to do now is we're going to go take Mr. Krabs out and we're going to try. I think we've done a pretty good job of trying out all of our tools on creatures. The only creature we didn't get to was the Arachnid. But um, do we need crab legs for any specific dish here? No, I don't think we do. Uh, I don't think we do. So let's just put this food in here. And the rest of this stuff we'll, we'll take outside. We can put the these guys back in here too. And because alien blood appears to be a food item, we're just going to keep that in the, the fridge with everything else. Look at all the food and water and stuff we have. It's, ama it's amazing. Didn't I make a bunch of more crab stews? Oh, I must have already picked them up. Okay. We could do that uh, just to free up some space. Uh, so let's grab... Yeah, let's grab this we're kind of low on potatoes and some more meat and queue up 20 more of those awesome awesome possum oh yeah i've got a bunch of bunch of crab stew up here man we, we got so much food it's a nice nice situation to be in full show okay so let's put that back there and we're going to put all those animal parts outside in the animal parts thingamadoodle. Now, once I get the the, the electro dome up, which we'll probably do in the next episode, then I'm going to I'm going to completely redo all of this. All these little storage little storage chests are going to go uh, well, some of them are going to go away cuz I'm going to make some more big guys like this and we're going to re we're probably going to keep all of this stuff the way that it is because it's already lined up and easily accessible. Uh, but this part's going to be done differently based upon, you know, the biodome. Um, okay, so I'm feeling pretty confident that we've tested everything on creatures with the exception of the arachnid. Uh, now, is this still a three blaster deal? Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Oh, that's right. We don't have protection from storms in this because it's not an enclosed cockpit. See, he's running from us. He knows, man. He knows we're coming to, coming for him. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're probably going to take a little bit of damage, but whatever. So anyways, yeah, this is uh, the crab mech, guys. Freaking awesome, huh? Oh. Yeah. So the reason I like this... Uh, the crab mech for mining the most... Uh, this is all assuming none of the other... Vessels have changed since the last stable release. Um, but the reason I like him the most is because he's got a triple blaster and it's a really, really fast rate of fire. Um, you know, I don't want any more alien blood. What am I doing? It's a really fast rate of fire. So, um, so I can go like this. I mean, as fast as I can press the mouse button. And so you can mine stuff really, really quickly with that. Now, that Mr. Krabs here doesn't have any storage to speak of or maybe he's got one slot but watch this oh, <laughs> look at that jump that's awesome was that in there before see i mind it two two things oh it doesn't pick it up for us anymore though oh that's a change it used to just pick it up automatically okay well fair enough i guess it's still going to be faster than me mining it by hand I think. Oh, okay. So that's a change. We busted that entire gold rock up in, in two blasts. But now we have to get out. Hmm. Now we have to get out and pick it up, though. I'm just trying to think. If that's going to be faster than... I don't think he would was able to jump like that before, was he? Hmm. One thing we can do, though, too, is we can just blast. Wait. See, we can blast the stone and get the ores from that because the ores are larger than the little pieces of stone. See, we don't need the, the rock, but that could be a useful way of getting more ore, too. Copper in particular, because I'm really low on copper, and you can you have a chance of getting copper from you know from stone outcroppings 
Okay, so Mr. Krabs should be able to do a little better on hills than he's doing. Okay, so that yeah, they've made this not as good as it was before by virtue of the fact that we now have to actually pick the ores up, whereas before it just went straight into your inventory, and this thing was just a mining beast because of that. Now I have to decide if it's still worth using for mining because we have to pick it up. See, now the thing is, is yeah, he's going to break up rocks faster than I can with my pick, but when I'm using my pick, it goes right into my inventory. So now this is a two-step process. So yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to think about that. See, because of that, mind that, you know, but now I've got to get out, walk around and pick all this stuff up. Not that that's a big deal. I'm just, I'm re really just kind of comparing it to, is it going to be faster for me to walk around in Mr. Krabs or something faster like the mech and then just jump out and use my pick on a node? You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to have to kind of ponder that. Oh, that's not a, a mineable thing. But this is useful, I think, you know, getting the, the little nuggets out of the out of the rock outcroppings. OK, well, anyway, let's go ahead and continue our discovery thing. We got some plants up here. So we're going to hop out of Mr. Krabs. Yeah, see, there's no option for me to access inventory. So Mr. Krabs doesn't have any inventory at all. OK, so this is a normal fernberry tree. What happens if we use the botany thingamadoodle? We get tree sap. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. What happens if we use the shears? We get bark. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. There we go. I believe we need bark to make some of the pharmaceuticals. Okay, um, so that's how it works on a fernberry tree. I'm assuming it'll probably be the same on a red fernberry tree, but we, we can confirm that. Okay, what happens when we use this on an azalea plant? We get alien fiber, okay. What happens if we use the botany thing on an azalea plant? We get tree sap. Hmm, okay. What happens when we use the botany thing on a large leaf plant? Methane! Wow, <laughs> that's useful. Holy crap. Okay, what happens when we use the shears on a large leaf plant? Blue palms, okay. All right, so how about the shears on an undiscovered tree? This is a bark tree and we get bark. Okay, what about the botany thing? Alien blood, really? From a bark tree, huh? Wow. Interesting. Okay. If we use the knife, we get bark. If we use the conduit bender, we... Oh, oh there's nothing more to gather. Okay. The conduit bender, I think, is just going to give us berries. Does this have anything left on it? No, it's used up too. Oh, no, it did. Okay, so there's a berry right there. All right. So let's try the shears on a cinefern plant. We got Cinefern. Okay, fair enough. And let's try the botany tool on a Cinefern plant. Methane. Oh, wait, did we already test that over here? What did we get from an azalea? Tree sap. Okay. Interesting. Okay, cool. Let's go find some uh, more plants. Oh, did we try it? I think we tried it on here, right? Yeah, that's, that gives us methane. So we get methane from a large leaf plant with the botany thing. So you're going to definitely want, and from and from the, uh, the center fern, you're going to definitely want to have glass jars in your inventory when you're out doing this then. It doesn't fill them up real fast though, so that's interesting. Okay, let's go over to uh, this forest over here. 
because we have some unique plants over here that we can check out. Mr. Krabs is not super fast, so that's one another thing that's not super great about him, but... Okay, let's try the botany tool on a cactoid. Dirty water. Interesting. Okay. I'm guessing if we use the shears on it, we're just going to get the cactoid parts. Yep, urchin shell. Which I still don't think has any use for anything that I'm aware of. You don't want to eat it. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I don't think I don't think that has a use for anything. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, what about this thing here? These are blue blades, so if we use the shears, we get blue blades. All right, fair enough. What do we get if we use? Uh, the botany kit on a blue blade. I'm never going to remember all this stuff. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are taking notes. We have a red fernberry tree too. Let's test that out and see if it does anything different than the purple. Yeah, I don't know. I suppose if you're in an area with a bunch of nodes... See, the other thing is, too, is he's he's kind of... It can be a little bit of a hassle to aim sometimes, but if you're in an area with a bunch of nodes and you just blast them all and then hop off and start picking them up, is that faster than just going around with your... you know, with your pickaxe to get it? I don't know the answer to that question. It's kind of hard to say. I'll be honest with you too. I I mean, I'm I'm kind of disappointed that it no longer goes into your inventory, but to be honest, that was that was really OP. <laughs> it was like seriously OP. But man, I'll tell you what, that was the way to mine in the previous uh stable version for sure. See, so so we're comparing that with with the pickaxe. Okay, so so with the pickaxe, you know, we're talking. Yeah, it takes longer to mine this, but it's going right into my inventory, so I don't have to pick anything up, right? And if we're on a, a soft enough node, we're gonna mine the whole thing in one in one uh, hit. Well, I mean, one chunk per hit is what I'm trying to say. Like this this mag up here. Okay, go away. So, yeah, with the mag, you know, we're going to do this in... Oh, no, I guess this is a two-hit job, too. So the crab does not give us any storage. It's not faster than we are on foot, particularly with our glider. Um, and we have to pick ours up. The crab does give us some awesome, awesome defense, though. I mean, those three blasters are devastate anything. So the question is, is it really better for mining or not? I don't know the answer to that question. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I was just curious to hear to hear what you guys think about it. If it's still put it directly in your inventory, it would be hands down, you know, the best thing to use. Okay, anyway, let's get back to our discovery. This episode's going a little bit long, but it is what it is, right? Ooh. Yeah, you, you can't argue that Mr. Krabs is fan frickin tastic for defense, man. Look at him just wrecking. And he doesn't have, uh, you know, any fuel uh, source either. He's just... On all the time, so. Doesn't run out of ammo. His blasters don't overheat, so he's he's an exceptional uh, combat mech for sure. Okay, red fern berry trees. Do we get the same thing from red fern berries that we do from...
the blues. Yeah, so we get tree sap if we use the botany thing. And we're probably going to get bark if we use this. It's so hard to find stuff in this grass. Uh, Yeah, there's a piece of bark right there. Okay, so that tree's the same. Now, is the... Uh, are the larger trees the same, going to give the same types of things? So if we use the shears on the gem leaf plant, what are we getting? Did anything drop? It's so damn hard to see in this grass. Let's try it again. Maybe we can see something drop if we're in third person here. Is anything dropping at all? I don't know. I can't tell. All right. Um... What happens if we use the botany kit? Tree sap. Okay, so it looks like the botany kit gets tree sap on any kind of tree. It would appear so. Let's try the shears again on this one. Because I thought these dropped like some kind of almost a pineapple, purple pineapple looking thing. That's just an animal part there. Oh, no, no, it's bark. Okay, it's bark. Oh, okay, so what if we use... What if we, I bet you the knife gives bark, too. If we use the pickaxe, though... Is this dropping the fruit? I think it's just dropping more bark. Oh, no, okay. Oh, See, so th that dropped berries. Okay. So that dropped fern berries. The pick did. All right. One of these these newer trees drops like a purple fruit. I wonder, do you have to use the... I wonder if you have to use this. Now oh, that one's exhausted. It might be the trees in the uh, in the Crescent Valley forest. I can't remember off the top of my head. Let's run over to this guy. Oh yeah, we're gonna be able to see better from here. Okay, so if we use, what are we equipped? No, we want to use the the pick uh, the chisel. That's just dropping berries too. So you know, I think. Maybe it's the other trees I'm thinking of that drops the purple pineapple fruit. Uh, what does the conduit bender do? Berries? Yeah, berries. Okay. All right. Let's move on. So... Uh, did we, t I don't know, did we test the botany kit out on this? Methane. Okay, so the botany kit seems to get methane from most of these plants. Except for this, it gets dirty water. Gotta get a little closer. Assuming that's kind of like a cactoid, uh, or a cactus on Earth. That kind of makes sense. You get tree sap from those. Get the hell out of here. So I think it's the trees, guys, in the Crescent Valley that gives you the purple pineapple things. So let's go there and check that out. Where's Mr. Craps at? I think we left him over here. Okay, we got a new uh, type of plant here. Um, 
I'm probably going to need to relog. Oh, let's actually test out the nerve wing. Okay, so if we use the botany kit on him, what do we get? Insect alien parts. What about the shears? Insect alien parts. Okay, so that's all we get off of him. All right, there's a new uh, type of plant here that we haven't even discovered. So what does the shears give us? Horse... what? Horse... Bracked. Oh, okay. We can actually eat this. So this is edible. What does... Uh, what do we get from the bio... Uh, botany thingamadoodle? Methane. Okay. So this is the tool to use to get methane, man. Just go around and whack as many plants as you can. So we have three different ways to get methane in the game here. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, let's go to Crescent Valley. Okay, we have two different types of trees to test out here. So I think this is the one. What do we get with the botany? Okay, tree sap, which is to be expected. What do we get with this? Probably bark. Did you drop a piece of bark anywhere? Oh, no more resources. That was fast. Okay, what does this thing give us with the shears? Tree bark. And that one goes into our inventory. Why do some of them go into our inventory and some of them don't? This gives us tree sap. Okay. Um, and if we just if we just use a blunt weapon, what do we get? No more resources. Okay. Uh, here's another Fibon. Or Fibon. Fibon? Fibon? Oh, there we go. Okay, so this is the thing that gives the purple pineapples. I thought it was the other trees. And it's going right into our inventory, too. So that that's inconsistent. <laughs> A desert yuccatus. What does this give us? Um, Can we tell... No more viable resources. I don't even know what resources we got to begin with. Okay, let's try this one. Do we see anything? Man, this grass is a pain in the butt. Okay, I don't know if we're even getting anything at all. Let's try this again. I would expect this to give us bark. But man, I am not seeing it. Okay. We need to find one. Yeah, this one's a good one because now we can actually see what's dropping from it. There we go. Bark. Okay, so shears give bark. Did we try this already? Yeah, we got tree sap. And if, if we use a blunt on this, what do we get? Oh, no more viable resources. Okay, let's try it on this one. Anything? Yeah, purple pineapples. Oh, no, that's different. Okay, hold on a sec. That's different. So this is dropping the purple pineapples. So we got something different from that other plant when we used a blunt on it. Uh, this, let's go look at that again. See, this goes right into your inventory too, and it's a five on tree fruit. Okay, let's look at those. So this guy takes two of our health away, but it gives us seven food and twelve 
hydration. This guy is the same. They both take a little bit of health away, but they give us food and hydration. Very interesting. Okay. And you need a blunt tool to harvest that. All right. I can't think off the top of my head, guys, of... That's a different kind of wasp, isn't it? That's not a nerve wing. That's something else. He's, like, really fast. Where'd he go? Oh, it's right over there. I have my... I lost that guy. He's really hard to see. But he, he looks more like an actual kind of yellow jacket, you know, with the orange and black stripes as opposed to the purple looking nerve wings. Huh. All right. Well, I can't think off the top of my head if there are any other uh, plants that we haven't um, discovered on. Um, oh, man, the lag is terrible. That we haven't discovered here on Proteus. Now, you know, we do have... We have um, some creatures on... And some plants on Azale and Lutari that we can do. Because I'm, I'm just going to keep these tools with me now. Moving forward. See, I don't... Why does the... Why does the Fibon or Fibon or whatever go right into our inventory, but this drops on the ground and we have to pick it up? That doesn't make sense. It's just inconsistent is all. It should be one way or the other. Preferably just go into our inventory. <laughs> um, but yeah. All right. I think we did a pretty good job, guys. Oh, wait. There is a different plant there. Oh, my God. This stupid bug. I don't want to restart now because we're ready to wrap up the episode. We haven't even discovered this. Okay. So if we hit it with this. A Scarborough's, Scarborough's palm. And we got something. We got, oh, these look like, these are almost like bananas. And they give us seven food, but they don't give us any, they don't harm us uh, like these do. There is so much food on this planet, you guys, that you can eat. Besides, you know, just the normal berries and the meat. That is really cool. Hi, guys. This is future old guy coming to you. Uh, we missed this plant. I'm actually recording this after the end of the episode, but I'll insert it uh, before the ending here. And uh, let's see if we can get another alien organ off of this dude. So I think we needed the shears to get the organ. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so we missed this plant here. Uh, so let's discover this. Yellow petal flower. That's new. Ooh, don't eat this. This subtracts 10 health and 10 food. I wonder, this is this might be used for one of the, the pharmaceuticals or something, or maybe in a weapon. That's poisonous, though. Yeah, we don't want to eat that. Yellow petal palmetto. Interesting. Okay. There you have it. Bye. All right, well, I'm going to let you go here. Sorry about the lag again, but I do want to mention, too, that uh, I've had several of you guys confirm that you're having the same problem in your games, too, which means it's not, you know, it's not any one person's computer. It's it's the game itself. And so, you know, hopefully they'll be working on that. I completely lost Mr. Krabs, too. What the hell did I do with him? I think he's over this way. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go in this episode. What we're going to do in the next episode is we're going to set up the Electrodome, um, the, the, the Tier 2 Electrodome, the red one, um, do some base rearranging, and then um, probably make some of the high-end weapons and test those. I think that's what I have in mind for the next episode. And then after that, um, 
we're probably going to start looking about looking at going into space and maybe even building ourselves a space station. Well, not maybe. We are going to build a space station. The maybe part is if, if we're going to do that in the two episodes from now. We'll see how things go. And, of course, we have to do a visit to Aziel 2 at some point, which we will do. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and leave me a comment and let me know where in the hell I left Mr. Krabs because I cannot find him. All right, guys, see you later. Bye.